music thumping just a little bit louder tonight? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> nice to nice to put that one away. What was we talked about in the first intermission? The pace of that first period seemed to be so important to kind of setting the tone for you guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And we followed it up in the second. They've been, uh, you know, they've been a struggle of ours for, you know, our past uh, our past history, and and uh, came up and played the right way in the second. They they put on a push, and we weathered the storm, and and. Uh, Bent but didn't break, so um, you know that that propelled us forward in the third. And in that scenario, how important was it to get the first goal to kind of crack it, crack, get the first crack at it, I guess? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I mean, they were they were all big goals. They were all timely goals. Um, you know, in the three nothing lead going into the third period against a team like that's always a little scary. Um, they got one back, but you know we, we did a very good job of bending today, but not breaking. And, and um, you know Terry was was stellar again. Yeah, just speak a little bit on his game. He's he's carried that heavy load in several games here recently. Tonight he was able to turn it into a win. Yeah, yeah, and and, and I mean for a guy who's battled that hard with with injuries and you know being a tall guy and having to go into the splits every second night, it's he's done a very good job, and I'm very happy for him. Um, He's a, he's a consummate professional, does his job very well, and, and it's nice to see him, you know, getting sticky and, and uh, finding that confidence. The transition and their speed is as good as anybody in the league. You saw that up in Colorado. Same tonight, you did a better job of kind of limiting them in that way. Was that a, something, a pretty big focus going in? Yeah, for sure. And we managed the puck better. We didn't, you know, we didn't give them transition opportunities where they wanted them. Um, you know, those the, the blue areas of the ice against them are, are killer, or you know, they're a deciding factor in your favor. So. Um, we did a very good job at, at the blue line tonight and, and uh, came away with a win. How much are, are you and, and the other guys in here enjoying the Nylander story? I mean, he comes Yeah, over it's here. great. He's battled. He's battled. He's been, uh, I mean, I think, I think it's just him and I who have played on more than two teams. Um, so we have that in common. It's, it's a great story. He's come here and found a, found a home and going to the right places. You see a guy score two different ways tonight too. It means he's uh, turned into a little goal scorer. So that's uh, that's really good. How, how big can that be going forward? Yeah, it's, it's huge. It, it's, the, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, he's putting a great case together. There's no doubt about that. So um, yeah, I hopefully he continues to do that for the remainder of the year and gives himself, uh, you know, puts himself in the best place possible. And then with, uh, with Tarasov, you know, he's a guy who Many people had talked about him before he came over here, you know, just the talent level and whatnot. But to just be able to kind of see him after all the injuries and everything, yeah, just to start putting it together like, yeah. on a nightly basis, that's got to give you guys a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you could tell, like, you know, even last year when he came in, his rebound control was a little funky. It was, you know, it was a little surprising. And, you know, he had some holes. And, you know, I say sticky that, you know, the best goalies in the league catch the puck all the time. And, and you know, they know exactly where that rebound's going. So, so now we're starting to. You know, certainly me, I'm starting to figure him out and understand where, you know, where his rebounds go. And, and uh, that's if he gives one up. He's, he's catching lots of stuff. He made some tough saves tonight in tight. I don't know if you guys saw him, but he made some really tough, you know, close tips and, you know, put it in his glove, sealed it, and gave us a chance at a face off. So that was tremendous. Are you an offensive defenseman now? You guys keep asking me that. <laughs> Two more assists, man. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You guys have won two in a row. You've got seven to go here. What do you want to accomplish here in the final two weeks? Yeah, we just want to leave with some momentum. Um, you know, you want to. It's been a very difficult year, so um, taking some positive momentum into the year and and you know just giving ourselves you know that light at the end of the tunnel where you're like, hey, you know we can do this. Everybody go home, take care of your business, be a professional this summer, come back ready to go. That's that's what we're looking for. So. How does a win like this over a team like that feel? It's got to feel a little extra special, I would imagine. Yeah, uh, it always feels really good for the team. You know, we balanced, had a hard, hard, uh, tough road trip there, and uh, now we're bouncing back, and we played some really good games. And you know, that's huge to, for our team to get confidence and get ready for the next game here. Second periods have been tough for you guys yeah. all season long. Tonight, it was the difference in your favor. What was the difference in that second? I mean, we just stuck with it. You know, we know we've had to get better in that area, and uh, we really focus on, you know, playing a full 60, um, even though we've had really good starts. And uh, just bearing down, battling out there. And, uh, you know, we also had a really good – Terry was great tonight, so that helps. And, uh, yeah, we just had a good full 60 tonight. Ten goals for you on the year now. I think that's a mm -hmm. career high. What, what does that mean to you to have a night like tonight, get to that number? Yeah, obviously that's huge. Um, uh, I mean, it was – Feels really good, you know. Just got to keep going uh, the way I've been playing, and uh, just having the same mentally prepared for for every game here. Alex, you know, I know you've only played 17 games here. Um, 
is that enough time for you to, to kind of look at yourself and feel, considering what you've done, feel like part part of the the future here potentially? Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, they're giving me the chance and they're letting me play and uh, making me feel really welcome since the start I came here. And uh, obviously, I would love to be part playing here, and uh, it's been great. Um, it's a great organization. Like I said, when I first came here, we got a lot of good young talent and, and a little more vet group at, at the same time that I think can be really good. Uh, we're just making steps and get better uh, day, day by day here and for next year as well, and we can be a really good, solid team uh, moving forward. Is this an easy room to assimilate to and become friends with everyone? And yeah, uh, the guys have been great, you know, since the day I came here, like I said before, um, made it really easy to, you know, just get comfortable, you know, and uh, get the guys, know the guys, get to know the guys and uh, hang out with them after practice and, and uh, have a lot of fun while we're here at the at the rink. Good Branson talked about the fact that you scored goals two different mm -hmm. ways tonight. Have you been able to show your full repertoire here? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I know that I can shoot the puck, but at the same time, you know, a lot of goals uh, get scored there around the net, so I try to get there uh, when I know I have the opportunity when uh, I see the Johnny going up high and stuff like that. I just try to get myself ready, and if anything bounces in front of the net. Um, so, yeah, just trying, that's kind of my game, you know, can can just try to shoot the puck and then and go to the net also at the same time. Is this the first time uh, at the NHL level that maybe you felt like you did going into your draft here? Like, you know, just kind of on top of the, the game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I feel like my game has really developed uh, a lot through the past two years. And uh, after my injury, that I really becoming uh, a solid, uh, know the way I know how to play my game and uh, bringing back, you know, the way I know how to play before I got drafted. And yeah, it is feeling uh, really good. And and confidence wise is also helping me a lot. So yeah, I mean, it's it's nice that it has come, but obviously it came a little later than I wanted to. But, you know, that's how, how stuff goes, and uh, just really happy that it it's, it's, has come now. Do you feel like the final two weeks here can help you guys build for next season? You were talking about some steps a few minutes ago. Yeah, exactly. Um, I know we got a couple games here that we got against really good teams. You now we can start showing that we are able to play and be a, be a top team in this league. And... Uh, like I said, we've had really good games when I've been here, and uh, and I know that we can get up there. So we just got to believe and take it step by step, and um, just keep going because we we all know in the group that in this locker room that we can make those steps and become that team. Thanks. Man. Uh, Daniel, you said that Vegas game was your hardest game that you played. Was this your best game that you played tonight? Do you think? Uh, and not. I can say this is my best game and more like you can ask the coaches yeah, about this. Yeah, uh, Just trying to, to play simple like I usually did, like trying to be like confident, get the chances for guys. And I think we played really, really good tonight. Like we did really good structure and especially in a PK, it was a huge PK tonight. So yeah. You faced 47 shots, I believe, 47, 48 shots. That's nothing for you now. You faced those heavy workload nights before. How has that experience helped you in a game like tonight against such a dangerous team? Yeah, the last experience was really helpful. Yeah, you're more like the confidence, you really focus, and you didn't like count it how many shots it was. Uh, and I think like when you're leading in a game and you don't feel that amount of shots. There was a, the crowd at the end was chanting your name, Tarasov. Was, did you hear that? And is that kind of a cool experience uh, to have that support? No, actually, I didn't hear it. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like kind of like surprised at me now. And yeah, it was like huge, huge help tonight. I mean, from the fifth line, from our fans. And when we played it in front of them, we can play bad. I mean, it was really helpful tonight. Daniel, there's only oh, what, seven games, I think, left in the season. Um, this stretch that you've been on and, and the remaining games, if you can finish those strong, how important will that be for you personally and for the team, you know, going into next year? Uh, yeah, I think it's really important. Like, we need to, was kind of like the difficult season anyway, yeah. And if we're like finishing really strong, this season is going to be like really development for a whole group. I mean, it's getting like improved, I think, in the future. So, yeah, we're just trying to, to battle and like, trying to play like the strong last like seven games. Yeah. Does that go for you too? 
Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it's for all, all guys here. Pascal, in, in Denver, that team took control of the second period, and, and you guys <laughs> didn't have an answer. Tonight, you took control of the second period. What, what was the difference? What allowed you to have that success? Well, I think overall we played a, a real smart game. Um, that's, that's a real fast team. A few things. We had Salinger's line playing against McKinnon. They've done a real good job the whole night, not only by defending but also creating offense, managing the puck. And uh, we have Voron we I have Voronkov against our middle stat, the second line, which that's a real dangerous line too. And then Gons, Gons's line and Dan Ford's line brought a lot of energy. I think RD did a real good job at controlling the gap throughout the game. And that's to answer your question. In the second period in Colorado, we got away from that, and our goalie was outstanding. The other thing is. Uh, that's a real good, strong team on the walls. They win a lot of battles on the walls, hard rims, and um, cutbacks, tight turns. And we've done a good job at taking that away a little bit more than we did the last game. <coughs> uh, you know your schedule doesn't get any easier after tonight, but what do wins like tonight and the win against Pittsburgh, what does that do for your team's confidence going into this final home stretch? Well, we keep reinforcing winning habits and um, what needs to be done consistently to win a hockey game in the National Hockey League. And, and the last two games, uh, we saw a team that is uh, executing those habits. And when you do so, when you have a strong goaltending, we had Elvis was really good, Tarasov was really good tonight. Um, it changes the dynamic. Uh, we've talked a lot about just the team in general um, needing to finish strong and kind of trying to roll that in the next year. When you focus that on Tarasov in particular, that's a huge position, obviously. Like, just how big can that be for this team if he can become that, that <laughs> kind of goal he gives you this kind of – Thing on, a, on a consistent basis. Yeah, he's been really good. Uh, third period, you know the other team is going to push, especially a, a great offensive team like Colorado. Um, so you need your goalie to make some big saves. And so what it's creating right now is a confidence. Because when you're afraid to make any plays in the third period because you're afraid you're going to get scored on, uh, it changes the approach. It changes how you uh, manage the puck. Um, it doesn't give you that confidence. And... Uh, when we have a strong goaltending, like we did the last two games, it just it feels different, it looks different, and we execute it differently. Likewise, up front, uh, you get two goals, two more goals tonight from Alex Nylander. He is he is proving to be lethal when he has uh, a place to shoot, basically, and room yeah. to get it off. Um, you know, it, you, we look at that trade, and it's. Uh, a lot at the time, I think people were looking at it as a minor trade type of thing. He comes in here and he's doing this. How big can this really be if, yeah. if he can keep doing it? If this? he can keep doing it, that's can, that can be really big for us. I, I feel like when, when Nylander shoots the puck, every time he shoots the puck, he's one of those guys that I feel he can score. And um, he's accurate, he's quick. Um, uh, weight transfer is really good. This technique shooting the puck is really good. So, um, if he keeps going, going that way, trending in that direction, that could be a hell of a trade for us. You, you mentioned this right off the start there, but the, the cylinder line, you had them against McKinnon. Uh, they're young players. You had them out there, empty net situation, trying to ice the game. Just how much trust over this last little bit have you built up in that group, and, and Cole in particular, because he seems to be kind of the guy that, no matter who's on his wing, you're willing to throw him out there in a lot of big situations. Yeah, I, I trust them. I trust uh, Silly. I, I, trust, I trusted that line. They've played the right way the whole game. Last game, too. Uh, I mean, last two games he was matched against Crosby and tonight against McKinnon. That's not bad. So, um, but he's earned that trust. He's, uh, he's engaged. Uh, he's learning from his mistakes. He's coachable, which that's a, that's a big piece of his game. Um, the mistakes that he was doing early in the season are gone. Uh, so he's, uh, it's building trust and it give, it's given us options in the moving forward in the future penalty kill was good tonight you get yep. the 2-0 goal and then you go on the pk pretty quick you shut that down then tarasov stops the mini breakaway right after 
and you get the three zero goal. How important was that stretch there, keeping the momentum? Huge. Their their power play is running at twenty four point nine percent right now. So they're top. They're sixth in the league. They're top ten. Um, they win games on the power play. Like they they create uh, an advantage with their power play because they're lethal there. But like I said, having a guy like Tarasov tonight playing the way he did, and and the guys in front and the guys we don't uh, often talk about. Uh, Good Branson was doing a great job in front of the net, clearing the, the net front so Tarasov could see the puck. Same thing with Provorov. Our guys on the PK did a real good job. Is there value in finishing a regular season in a positive way, going into an off season and then building, of course, toward the next season? Is, is it important what happens here I think the next so. two weeks? Yeah. I think so. And it's not so much about, yeah, we love winning. Like it's The only time I have fun in my hockey season is when we win, but um, it's more than that. It's more than the final result. It's the process. We've been talking about how we do things on a daily basis, how we approach the games, the first, second, and third period, shift after shift, staying in the moment. By doing it and improving at it, and, and, and knowing that we have quite a few guys, NHL players, out of the lineup, but still progressing and um, having that confidence in ourselves, uh, the players in themselves, and in the guy sitting next to 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 them, um, that goes a long way. That's how you create winning habits, a winning atmosphere, and a winning culture. So for us, not so much that yes, the the wins are huge. Uh, we're in the NHL, but the process and it, it, for us to be able to play those games the right way and we get the results, um, it's huge. Last one. Yesterday you said that games like this can teach you things about your team, about the individual players. When you look at some of the Cleveland guys that are playing these big minutes against these big teams, what have you learned from them, especially in this last few games, but tonight as well? Well, they're all different. Uh, I'd say, well, Christensen has been, in, uh, Christensen have been, has been improving for, uh, game to game. Um, very impressed with uh, uh, Puthia. Uh, he's, he's playing uh, smart hockey. He's got the speed to play at this level. Um, smart with the puck, smart without the puck. We use them on the penalty kill today because that's what he's been doing in Cleveland. Uh, Malatesta is bringing a lot of energy. Gons is more, I see him more as a veteran. He's been in the NHL. NHL. Uh, Carson Meyer was good again. He was bringing the energy. So it's uh, not only it's good for us to be able to evaluate if they can play at this level, but how they react and against very good teams. And uh, it gives them a little taste of what it takes. So it's, uh, it's a win-win for us.